we were in a uh, room not as nice as this. It was a windowless room in an airport hotel. And the search committee of 14 people had been together for four days at this point in time. Had gone through 12 of the 13 interviews. There was one guy left, and I felt sorry. I looked down on the list, and there was the name of John Dunn. And I'm thinking, I kind of feel sorry for this guy. He's walking into a room of tired, you know, uh, individuals. And we had already had in our minds a couple of strong candidates. And yet, I tell you, he was just uh, genuinely gracious with everybody. Three hours later, he walked out, and this is not an exaggeration. There was a moment of silence in the room, and everybody just said, that's our guy. I think probably the most appealing thing about President Dunn is his genuine kindness. He's a good man. It's not a facade for him to care about our international students, to care about our CETA scholars. That's who he is. He's a good man. Well, I think I'm going to miss the fact that the person who created the diversity agenda and saw it through and says, even though that we've done it, um, we still have a long ways to go. I think I can appreciate the fact that he um, stimulated that thought. He has progressively made that happen on this campus and um, we'll never be what we were before because he's been here. I think like so many other people, when I think of Dr. Dunn and, and his personality, what comes to mind for me is just his competitive nature. But what I've really come to appreciate about Dr. Dunn over the last 10 years and getting to know him is I think that the enthusiasm comes not only from his will to win and his love of winning, but also for his firm belief that our students and our faculty and our staff can compete on any stage and with anybody. And so I think a lot of that fieriness that we see from him comes because he wants other people to recognize that as well. Um, that said, some of it is just true competitiveness. He actually challenged me to a race to the checkout line in the grocery store one day. So I think a lot of it is, is just plain competitiveness. You know, I've seen the list of accomplishments that, that accompany the farewell tour. And, and they really capture the objective things. And of course, here at Cooley, we think the greatest accomplishment is the affiliation with, that we have with Western. But, but I think he's, my legacy statement would be he's brought Western to life. He's made it real. He's made it a vibrant place. He's made it much better known throughout the state of Michigan. And I think a lot more people have an appreciation for the quality and scope and breadth that the university has compared to what it was 10 years ago. Part of his legacy is what we have been able to achieve as an institution. There have so, been so many things, and in particular at the graduate level, we have grown in recognition in terms of our national rankings and professional recognition. We have been able to increase the number of partnerships and collaborations that we have with international and U.S. institutions to bring more students to Western Michigan University to study at the graduate level. And we've been able to welcome uh, individuals into our Bronco family and to make them proud of that education that they receive. This has been a great place and he's just made incredible contributions to making this even greater. With Dr. Dunn, he embraced the Kalamazoo nature of Western Michigan University. What I mean by that is these two organizations, if, we, if you will, are connected. They have always been connected and always will be connected, and he's valued that connection and the understanding that where the university goes, the city goes, where the city goes, the university goes. President Dunn, if we could as a Senate thank you for one thing in your 10 years, it would be your commitment and your service, as well as your support in your presidency for the work of the faculty. For you, we have been grateful, sir. Thank you, Dr. Dunn. You've been a marvelous leader, and I appreciate the time you've been here and my opportunity to work with you. Dr. Dunn, thank you for your leadership. I think I can speak for all 250,000 of our alumni when I say we'll always be proud to consider you a Bronco. So on behalf of the Graduate College, our graduate programs, and students, I'm pleased to be able to offer our thank you to you for your incredible, awesome leadership as president during these last 10 years. Great job, John. I thank you, John, for your service. 
that has helped not just Western but Cooley so much over these 10 years and uh, I'm going to miss you very, very much. What I would say to Dr. Dunn and to Linda, you will be greatly missed. You are always welcome in Kalamazoo. You will always have a place in our hearts and a place in our community and will always be a Bronco no matter where else you go. But with that, you'll always be a Kalamazooan as well. We love you, Dr. Dunn. It is a sad time in many respects um, seeing John and Linda leave this community. I know John has made this a better university. He has made this a better town. He's made me a better person. Um, and so I can only thank him for everything that he's done. I love you, man. <laughs>